What's up guys, Duarte here with another Marvel Strike Force video and today we are going to talk about one team that might be the replacement for Black Order and by this I mean probably one of the best team if not the best team for 2021 maybe, who knows but yeah, so today or in this video we are going to talk about the X Factor and uh, how amazing these two guys on their own are and the possibilities that we could have for a future team so if you find this information helpful make sure you share it with your friends on facebook and discord if you're new to my channel make sure you subscribe for more moral strike force content make sure you smash that like button and also make sure you check out the description in the video to check out my recommendations for isoweights for every single character and also for T4s. The T4 list is not complete, but if you guys leave a comment with one team you want to see sooner than later, just uh, drop it and uh, then I will do that as fast as possible. Okay, so we are going to talk about this team and these characters. And if you want to see these characters in action, OMG Mobile Gamer, he did a video with these guys on the test server and the video was quite decent but there are just a few things i want to point out which is he is doing blitz on 8.3 with all characters maxed out and when all characters are maxed out blitz on 8.3 is way easier than it is if the characters are not maxed out so the characters are pretty good but the video is just a little bit misleading it's not his fault it's just the way the blitz works but the video is pretty good and uh, he was not using the correct uh, ISO weights but it's not a huge problem you can still see how good they are with all that said let's take a look at the characters and let's start with Shatterstar and he's a hero cosmic mutant brawler and x-factor and on his basic he does 20% damage 150% extra damage as a bonus attack and then he does another extra attack for a total of 500% damage it's not the way it works exactly but you get uh, the point if a long shot is an ally which he should be then we have his special comes full costs 6 energy does 240% uh, attack to all enemies but this time is piercing damage and applies defense down to 2 turns for 2 turns for one target and gives one energy to Longshot. Now this will allow Longshot to use his ultimate which does tons of damage in terms of single target and this is going to be on a defense down target. So this combination of uh, the ultimate from Longshot and the special from Shatterstar is just amazing and early on this is gonna make your team to be on a 5 versus 4 situation. Then you have his, special, his ultimate, 4 energy comes full, attacks the primary target and chains for 3 targets but counters break this chain and it's for a nice multiplier of 350 plus 310. Now if Longshot is an ally, instead he attacks every single target for 350% damage and applies defense up for 2 turns for self and all X-Factor allies. Now this is one of the reasons why I think this team is going to be very very powerful and uh, most importantly on uh, Alliance Wars defense but also on arena defense. This is just a possibility, this is just uh, theory crafting. The fact that this character has 2 turns defense up on a 4 energy cooldown and when you use the AI for example on defense they always use the ultimate first if the ultimate is available so this guy will start right away with two turns defense up attacking all enemies so if they have all any def deflects or anything like that they'll be gone by then so this is a very very powerful ability and uh, with a lot of defensive potential once again for alliance wars and for uh, arena defense now let's take a look at his passive <laughs> On self or ally crit, so this can be Gamora crit, it can be Iron Man crit, it can be Shatterstar crit. On self or ally crit, barrier self and X Factor allies for 20%. 20% of this character's max health. Insane, amazing. 
And we'll take a look at these stats. You'll see that uh, that amount of 20% is just massive to a maximum of 30, of course. So if you have one character giving 20% and if you have another character giving 20%, then you cap out at 30%. But 30% of this guy, this guy max health is quite a lot. So on turn, heal for 20% of this character's max health. So if you found Emma Frost annoying or She-Hulk, this guy is doing, going to do exactly the same. Then this guy also gives 25% crit damage to himself. So crit chance is your chance of doing a critical strike. Crit damage is increasing the damage of that critical strike. So you always want to have high critical chance and then a higher critical damage. There is a combination of diminishing returns. There is never, dimi I mean, early on, if you, you have low crit chance, if you add a lot of crit damage, you have really high diminishing returns in terms of the crit damage. And uh, this reverses when you have a lot of crit chance and you have low crit damage. If you have like 70% crit chance, after that you have a lot of diminishing returns so you should invest on your crit damage but right now this guy is giving himself 25 percent crit damage and also to every other ally so iron man gamora whatever that it's going to increase their crit damage and then another 15 percent for x factor allies so that's going to be a total of 25 percent for all x factor allies so let's take a look at his stats and these stats once again are quite amazing. You can see at the health, 370,000, that's just amazing. Then borderline 28,000 base damage, that's just insane. <laughs> that's some of the best damage out there. Then we have a nice amount of armor and we have a nice amount of focus, not, not anything super crazy. On base crit, he has only 10%, but he's going to get more crits from other sides and uh, then we have 124 uh, speed which is very very good so this guy even that he is a uh, event character is looking like uh, he's going to be a very very powerful character the same way that proxima midnight was also a very powerful character so now we are going to take a look at long shot and see what these guys do combine it and the long shot as well as shatterstar he, he has a basic attack that does a bonus attack plus additional bonus attack if Shatterstar is an ally up to 610% like you cannot you cannot add this but let's just assume that you can and uh, yeah this is going to be a nice amount of damage on the basic and then you have the special two energy comes full only two energy attack all enemies for 260% damage plus bleed now the 260% damage is not a huge multiplier even that this guy has decent base stats but the fact that you're applying bleed to every single enemy that's just insane so the higher you have this base damage is better but at the same time he has other benefits out of having crit so you really want to have a raider on shatterstar and longshot so now we take a look at his ultimate that is going to benefit from that energy that Shatterstar provides. Costs 7 energy, so this one is quite expensive, but comes with 5, you can use it on turn 2. Attack primary target for 550% damage. Insane multiplier. Then this attack has 50% extra crit. Now if you have the bonus from... Uh, his passive plus the bonus from Raider, this is going to be 100% crit. On top of that, increase the damage amount by amount equal to this character's critical strike chance. So this is going to increase up by 50% or I don't know if it's going to count with his 50% or it's just going to count with the base, but we are still talking about 50% extra damage which is very very good so this is going to be a, a huge nuke and is going to put you once again on a situation of four versus five now you're going to take a look at his passive on self or ally crit so gamora <laughs> shatterstar iron man if one of them crit fill the speed bar of this character and x for allies characters the entire team is giving 
10 meter for the entire team the same way Shatterstar was giving barrier to the entire team this is insane this is unheard of this, both of these guys if you can you should aim to get 5 red stars or higher on both of them because it feels like these guys are going to be in one of the best teams out there or maybe be the requirement for some kind of insane legendary that uh, we'll get throughout this year on turn heal for 20% of these characters max health gain 25% crit chance all allies gain 10% crit chance so once again that's for Gamora, Iron Man and so on and then all X Factor get additional 15% Great chance to a total of 25%. So this will go for Shatterstar, giving him 35% created chance as base. Insane. <laughs> now let's take a look at his stats. Finally, he has 300% thousand, health, which is pretty good for a blaster. Yeah, he's a blaster. Then he has 27,000 damage. Once again, very very good. Special with that bleed damage from the special. A nice amount of armor which balances out the fact that he has less HP than Shatterstar and then a decent amount of focus, the crit uh, that we already saw from base and from the bonuses and then the speed, the speed is not super amazing but it's still pretty decent, it's uh, way above uh, average so yeah guys, I, I don't know what's up with, the, with these two characters but they are very very good and uh, I have a good feeling that this is going to be one of the best teams of uh, Marvel Strike Force on uh, 2021. Maybe the next Black Order, maybe not. Maybe the next uh, big ass Asgardians. And as you guys saw, this team works very, very well uh, on uh, AI because of all those abilities that Shatterstar has and uh, the fact that uh, the long shot cooldowns are so short in terms of the special so that means they will have tons of damage and uh, whenever he does his special based on chance alone he will always give, give barrier and he will always give turn meter to the team on top the, of the two turns defense up so i think this team is going to be very very good if you guys have the chance make sure you get these characters early on Make sure you get some decent red stars on them and once again check out OMG's video to see these guys in action even that it's not the best team even that they have, don't have the best iso weight you still can get one idea of how good these characters are so that's going to be the video guys i hope you guys enjoy it if you did you know what to do smash that like button like a boss if you found information on this video helpful make sure to share it with your friends on facebook and discord if you're new to my channel make sure to subscribe for more Marvel Strike Force content make sure you check out the recommendations for iso 8 and t4s in the description of, of my videos and uh, yeah that's gonna be how i will catch you guys later